キャスターアスクレピオスだ診察を始めよう何どこも悪くないだったら早く患者を連れてこい患者の前にいない医者ほど無意味なものはないぞ All right, joining us in、uh, this is now Asclepius, our edgelord looking、uh, medic who starts off looking like a plague carrier.、Uh, I don't know what to call that. Cyberpunk medicine man? Whatever the fuck that is. I hate the fact that his hair, that his hair crosses. Actually, his hair does that in every one of them. Yeah, that bothers me. I can notice it more clearly there because he's not wearing a hood anymore. I hate that it crosses and makes it look like a mask. That's, that's stupid. Or is he actually wearing a mask? I can't. Uh, God, I hate this character. <laughs> I, don't, I don't hate him. I hate his design. His design's funky as shit. Like, I don't know. I don't think there's any good design for him. I'm just gonna keep him in the first one because that one looks. I don't know. That's what I think of. Anyways. God of Medicine EX, Child of Apollo A, Serpent Charmer B, Territory Creation A, Item Construction EX, Divinity A, Resurrection Fraught Hades. Apply guts to all allies except yourself. One time, three turns, plus restore HP each turn. Effect increases with overcharge, and apply debuff immune for all allies. Asclepius is a Greek hero who trained under Chiron, from whom he learned the art of medicine. He would later be known as the God of Medicine and was also among the. Uh, Ar Argonauts Jason led. As a son of Apollo, Asclepi Asclepius's proficiency in medicine was so great that he gained the power to resurrect the dead. However, the gods saw his power as a threat, so Zeus struck Asclepius down with his thunderbolts. Because the gods hate any time the mortals have anything remotely good. Strength D, Agility B, Luck D, Endurance D, Magic Power A, Noble Phantasm A+. 170 centimeters, 60 kilograms, Greek mythology, grace, neutral, balanced, male. He does not tolerate anyone who falsifies their height and weight in their medical records. Oh, he'd fucking hate, uh, uh, Astafold then. The union of Apollo and a woman called Coronis, <laughs> uh, led to the birth of a son. However, when a crow notified Apollo that Coronis was unfaithful, though some say the crow lied, Apollo killed her in a fit of rage. At the same time, the crow's feathers for, uh, formerly white feathers were turned black. Apollo later regretted killing Coronis, and he took the child Asclepius from her womb right before she was to be cremated, and entrusted him to the centaur sage Chiron to raise. Asclepius learned the art of medicine and hunting from Chiron and ultimately began, began, uh, and ultimately began to show more talent in medicine than his teacher. His talents led him to create medicine capable of bringing the dead back to life by using the blood of Gorgon provided to him by Athena. So the gods gave him the method to like make this crap and then struck him down for it? You know, I'd say I'm surprised, but it's Greek mythology. The gods are dicks. However, the medication made it so that humans were able to evade death, which meant that there would be no need for the underworld. Hades, the god of the underworld, asked Zeus to do something about the, this crisis, as Hades could not directly intervene with Asclepius due to his heritage as Apollo's son, and so Zeus killed Asclepius with a thunderbolt. To quell Apollo's anger, Zeus raised the dead Asclepius as the constellation. words. The Serpent Bearer. Item Construction EX, he typically creates tools only to practice medicine, but all items are of extremely high quality. Child of Apollo A, a skill that indicates the user is of the Greek god Apollo's lineage. Apollo is recognized as the god of archery, talent, prophecy, the sun, and much more, but he is also the god of disease. The manifestation of this duality was what enabled him to command the art of medicine. God of Medicine EX, a skill that denotes his status as a god of medicine or the ancestor to the concept of modern medicine, as it is now understood. One theory suggests that Chiron was the first to treat others using medical herbs, while Sclepius learned and refined the practice, developing the clinical medicine we know it we know it today. Resurrection Fraught Hades, Rank B, Type Anti-Personnel, Range, Maximum Targets, Unknown. Imitation Medicine, The Obsolete Underworld's Moan. The medicine of Asclepius' creation that is capable of reviving the dead. At least that's what it's supposed to be, but this noble phantasm is not quite it, but instead imitates its effects. 
The resurrection medicine in the past used special, unique ingredients, and so even though he was summoned as a heroic spirit, the materials could not be automatically procured for the noble phantasm. Therefore, during normal Holy Grail Wars, this imitation revival medication is used. Because it is an imitation, it is notably less effective than the original and various conditions must be met to actually revive the dead, including restrictions on the condition of the corpse and how long it has been dead. Using knowledge he gained from the modern world, he calls it a glorified AED. I don't know what that means. In a self-deprecating way. Additionally, this imitation medicine is quite uh, precious in itself, so it can't be used multiple times. Resurrection Fraught Hades, rank EX type anti-world. True medicine, the absolute underworld's moan, the true resurrection medicine that violated the laws and realm of Hades and angered Zeus. I'm pretty sure what we just read said that Zeus wasn't pissed off by it, but Hades, what? Whatever. This medicine has the power to completely revive humans and demigods even if their bodies are completely shattered. It is said that Asclepius used this to revive Glacius, the son of King Minos, and Hippolytus, the son of Theseus. The ingredients for the medication included Gorgon's blood provided by Athena via Perseus, the blood that flowed through Gorgon's left half was said to destroy humans while the right half had the power to save them. But to be honest, simply extracting blood from Gorgon was not enough. When resurrecting Hippolytus, it was said to work because it also utilized Artemis' power. As such, the resurrection medicine must require highly refined divine power from the likes of Athena or Artemis to truly work. In truth, there may be even more secret ingredients necessary to pr produce the full effect. Ultimately, the resurrection medication of the past was not created through his medical knowledge alone, but with the help of others and no small amount of coincidental luck. And Asclepius himself has not mastered how to create the resurrection medicine all on his own. And that's why, obviously, he continues to pour his heart and soul in trying to replicate it. This noble phantasm, as a rule, is not used in FGO. Really? I'd have never fucking guessed, genius. よりすれ<笑> 何かの病気じゃなければいいが。掴みたかった僕は医者だ。患者がいれば連れてこい。症状が難しければ難しいほどいい。何？風邪気味だと。血に根気でも刺して寝ていろ。Does that actually work? Asking for a friend, of course. お前は珍しい患者を僕の前に連れてくる。僕はそれを直して、技術の進歩に役立てる。そういう契約だろう。なのになぜお前は何もしないで僕の前に立っているんだ。これから謎の奇病にかかってくれる予定でもあるのか。I would もっと連れてくるペースを上げてもいいぞ。マスター。おい。お前、その顔の赤さと
He just kicks you in the balls, opens your mouth, and spits inside. お前の元に入れば、いくらでも医術の進歩に繋がる医療行為を試みることができる。だから頼むぞ、マスター。どうかこれからも珍しい患者を僕の前に連れてきてくれ。そうすれば、いつかは死んだお前を生き返らせることだ
Fury Incarnate EX. As half his body harbors Shiva, the moment his fury is ignited, he will stop. He will not stop until he takes down the enemy. Mystic Gem of, Ma of Mane B, a gem that was placed in his forehead at birth. This is what protected him from demonic entities and beasts. Later in his life, he gave up his gem as a proof of surrender. Violation of Chivalry A. The soldiers' vows were crushed one by one during the Great Mahabharata War. Revenge called beget called begat yet more revenge. What? That That almost feels like it's just say revenge beget yet more revenge. I don't know why called is in that sentence. And violations piled up each other. Piled up upon each other. It is said that Asvataman conducted a forbidden night raid to bring down the enemy. Revered Soldier A+. The supplementation of, of Asvataman's legend as one of the greatest soldiers on par with Arjuna and Karna during the Mahabharata. By combining violation of, uh, violation of chivalry and fury incarnate, it's possible for him to be a soldier of madness that surpasses even berserkers. And ironically, he doesn't. his sixth profile is actually not unlocked by the Lost Belt, which is weird. Hopefully he's not a man that talks a lot. ハハハハ。戦闘モード手厚だよ。つまり俺に全力で突っ走れってことだよな。あった。まだまだ先がありそうだ。チェ。ちょっくら我が破壊神がまじっちまったか。まあいい。俺は足張ったまん。そこんと
俺の怒りを飲み込み受け入れたなな,なら一緒に怒るぞいいか人間は怒る生き物だてめえはもっと理不尽に対して怒って怒って怒りまくれ大丈夫だ俺が共に怒ってやるからな I feel so much better. 誇り高き戦いそれがまがいものになったのはいつの頃だったかそして俺も戦いを汚すことに加担したあの戦争がただの地獄になったのは俺のせいであり誰かのせいだだがマスター俺はここに誓うぞあんたを守り正しく戦い抜くとな God, it's like making peace with a uh, fucking uh, it's like making peace with a uh, schizophrenic alright well that's the last of our new servants now as I was saying that's gonna be it for now so next time we're gonna take a look at the final Gouda you know before it has another one and then afterwards, we'll have another what you missed for all the new bronze servants that got added. And of course, the Gouda servants. And boy, howdy. We got some Gouda servants to look at. At least two. At least. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.